my dear ones. This is a timeless near personal love and spirituality reading for whomever is guided to watch it with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. And this reading in particular is dedicated to Tam that made a donation to the channel to get more content like this. Thank you so much Tam for making this reading happen. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Tarot of Love by Marcia Perry. Okay, so when I open your deck here, I see that it's in the reversed. And we have the Princess of Rods and the Six of Blossoms. So this is very beautiful energy of new inspiration and forgiveness. So our heart is opening and uh, uh, we are starting to kind of live and let live. Certain things that we were irritated on before might just be a laughing matter for us now. We don't take things as seriously as we did before, probably because we have started to heal. So we don't remember the pain. Okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And here we have um, the strength card or balance card, justice card. Um, often the, the justice card and the strength card is uh, switched in many decks, but it's because they are very similar in um, their energy. So justice and strength, it's about being grown up and being a bigger person. And then we have the six of blossoms. So this is just what I see with you that you're much more grown up. You don't feel as much as a victim as you did before. And we can see well balanced and also relaxed standing on just one leg here. Okay, so nothing is really the same threat to you as it was in the past. So maybe you don't take another person's actions or behavior as serious anymore because um, you don't let it touch you personally. Or as I said, you might have, <laughs> yeah, it might have been um, kind of uh, <laughs> amnesia has been coming above you or to you. So five of rods together with six of blossoms. Um, five of rods looks very peaceful here. Usually it's about conflicts, but I'm thinking it's about conflicts in the past that, um, as I said, you are letting bygones being bygones. So six elements, earth, wind, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading, the moon and five of rods. Yeah, um, you might have forgotten a little bit too much. And uh, maybe if you, if we have the six of cups showing reconciliation, so if this will happen, five of nuggets as well, princess of nuggets, 10 of nuggets. Um, you might be putting yourself in the same kind of danger or the same kind of um, position that you did before and this might be a little bit degrading to you but it's also a learning curve because you learn as you go and you're becoming more and more uh, kind of skilled at this even if it's you are still a beginner I'm feeling this, uh, oozing such a such a calm from this cards and then we have the knight king of lightnings five of blossoms um, this is someone that has done you wrong and uh, currently they are suffering from a little bit of a broken heart and uh, nostalgia when it comes to you and your relationship. We can see the dreamy look in, the, in this person's eye. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking it's uh, kind of cooking up to a new encounter between you and a certain energy. It doesn't have to be the same person but might be the same type of person because both of you have been starting to long for um, having another go at this, okay? So even if you meet someone new, um, it's probably going to be roughly the same dynamics and you're still working within the same soul group. Uh, so it's just a new, like the, the former person in 2.0, okay, or 3.0 or 8.0. So I will just tune in here for a few seconds to you and your energy. Okay. So 
So this is your future there and the now and this is the past. And in the past we have two of rods. So here you um, you held back, you put up a, a wall and you were uh, strongly taking really good care of yourself. You stood tall and in self-respect. And this is now and we have transformation. Um, I'm, I'm feeling it's a learning by doing. You're going through a big transformation because of the things you're putting yourself through. And it's not easy things that you're putting yourself through. And this is the future tree of blossoms. So I'm definitely feeling like there's going to be some kind of encounter between you and another person. And it's going to feel very lovely and uh, the sense of coming home a little bit or, or being among equals but it might be a temporary feeling so ace, ace of nuggets here we have a new beginning you put up some kind of wall and you started on a new uh, new cycle for yourself a very new fresh cycle that's beautiful and then we have the four of blossoms, um, four of cups. So I'm thinking you were taking really good care of your own emotions, uh, foregoing love a little bit and almost having uh, a vacation for the heart. We can see it's like the, uh, the heart is setting here instead of the sun. Uh, so I'm feeling a very peaceful energy, healthy, um, taking good care of oneself. And here we have a 10 of lightnings and this I feel is you missing uh, your other half. Uh, even if your other half was uh, uh, disrupting your harmony and pushing you out of balance, making you uh, feel like with the five of pentacles feeling left out or shunted out or not really uh, dignified. You're, there's coming in a lot of missing this other person here and the world card so it's a very strong connection that you have uh, to this soul group or to a specific person and ace of lightnings uh, so you have a little bit of a vacation here because of the boundaries that you put up but then inside yourself you started to uh, to feel this um, that something is missing there's a piece missing uh, and this is um, how the divine is kind of dangling a carrot in front of you to make you go on yet another lap of uh, like a new learning circle. Ace of Lightnings is blood, sweat and tears, victory at last. So it's not an easy beginning. It's another, another turn of events and you will start on this new grail journey and there will be a lot of um, frustration and helplessness but also devotion uh, to your part and in the end you will learn something new again so it's definitely a new beginning but um, it's it's more forgetfulness you are forgetting the past so the divine can persuade you into doing it all again uh, eight of lightnings and it's coming in very quickly uh, this quick energies and very transformative energies so it's almost like the divine is sending you a certain ray of energy that make you feel in a certain way and, and make you ready for this new beginning. <clears throat> and here we have also the eight of rods. Sorry, this is the eight of swords. Uh, and then come the eight of rods. Uh, but it's still it's the same thing what I'm feeling here that you are being uh, pushed in another into another cycle. Uh, to eventually be able to come to the castle uh, in in the horizon which is the which is the goal and the castle is um, a symbol of you becoming all that you can be like really fully grown and fully educated by yourself and by the people that you're meeting in this life and then we have the six of nuggets so people meet you meeting in this life it's an exchange of of knowledge that is happening so even if people are on the surface acting horrible towards you what what they are doing is um, uh, they are showing you uh, where you still have work to do and you are showing them what, where they still have work to do and this is the beautiful exchange uh, how we teach each other the things the lessons that we have to learn and another 10 10 of rods and 10 of lightnings you can see here 
10 of swords, 10 of wands, eight of swords, eight of wands. You, you are dealing with, with a very masculine energy here, uh, a masculine energy that can either like save, or save you, save you both maybe, or condemn you both. Uh, because um, this is an energy that's so strong that it can and it can make the choice to put it into healthy use you can the other person you can both of you need to make this choice to put this into healthy use and if you don't do that or one person in this equation doesn't do that uh, it can come out as a very destructive energy uh, like tornado firestorm kind of energy um, so it's really up to the involved people how this is going to go. Um, it can be hell on earth or heaven on earth. <laughs> it uh, it uh, really depends on what road of action we are choosing. Are we going to choose the road of pride, for example, and, and uh, trying to control our surrounding and winning in this game of love? Or are we going to humble ourselves and do what's best for uh, both ourselves, the relationship, and the other person. Um, I'm feeling that the other person is a little bit loose cannon in this, but uh, there's no doubt that there's a very strong connection here. And, um, hmm. uh, and it's a connection that maybe particularly the other person doesn't appreciate that much, but they are being sucked into it anyway. Um, so... Uh, death and and the lovers you're really on a very spiritual sadhana a path towards um, enlightenment through mirroring yourself in another person Let's see what's on the top of that hill can we see it's so small feels very symbolic either like it's two people dancing and almost being like really entangled in each other exactly like this but it looks very like uh, ethnical in some way like um, Himalaya <laughs> or something similar okay 10 of nuggets uh, so we, this is a little bit better this is a little bit more harmonious here uh, the people comes together that have longed for each other here um, and in a healthy way so that's beautiful but uh, the eight of um, lightning being read like this is a little bit uh, a, a block because it's a person that needs to admit uh, to loving you <laughs> or you need to admit to loving this person if this ten of pentacles is going to happen here and so pride might be keeping you apart a little bit nine of lightnings yes um why pride is keeping a person apart from you or you are staying apart from another person out of pride it's because we don't want to get hurt uh, we don't want to give up uh, what we have won uh, so that we can be dragged down to a place where we don't want to be often this is just in our imagination and sometimes it's not and um, uh, we should be careful in this situation because we saw earlier that you have uh, suffered from amnesia and suddenly starting to forget about <laughs> the things that uh, you were supposed to remember how uh, ugly things can turn and um, here we have the nine of blossoms so you need to remember to um, to put uh, your needs first so you don't sacrifice yourself for another person and if you are the kind of person that always puts your needs first uh, you might need to try to put the other person's needs first. It's, um, it's a very delicate uh, situation where it's easy to um, kind of um, become uh, almost uh, like we're not living fully. We are living in a shadow of, of ourselves and we're not really aware of what is happening on the outside. And we're projecting a lot of stuff uh, towards the other person. It's their fault. They are the problem. So we really need to take a look at ourselves in, in the mirror. But here we have the four of rods uh, together with six of blossoms. So I definitely see 
uh, reconciliation between you and another person, possibly a, a fire sign or an air sign person. Doesn't have to be like that. It just shows the very masculine element of um, uh, fire and air. And um, um, it's a very, we need to be very cautious on this road. It's a beautiful road towards reunion, but it's also another lap on a very uh, challenging part of your story. So it's a, a drama that's going to play out. Uh, where it's very easy that the two polarities become each other's enemies instead of having each other's back. And um, so this is a little bit precarious and you need to stay awake and also maybe try to snap the other person awake and asking questions. So, um, so you seem uh, so angry at this moment. Uh, can you tell me what's happening? How do you feel? What's, uh, what's on your mind? Uh, so to keep the person not falling into that pit of just feeling, but actually being able to put words to their feelings. So this is what this person wants to say to you. Everything reminds me of you. And it's this 10 of lightnings that we saw here. And also, I need more time to heal and find myself. I don't see much of this um, apart from here. Uh, so you need to remember that even if you reconcile with a person from the past or you meet someone new, who's still going to be a person kind of from your past or your soul group, um, they still have issues, okay? So they're not going to be perfect in any way. So don't, don't think that they will be a happily, happy ever after. I'm lost without you. I had to be brutally honest. Um... Um, maybe they had said they have said something in the past or you have said something in the past uh, anyway the two of rods were put here as a protection is for example if someone says I'm not sure I'm in love with you then we say okay so then we have nothing to build on and I put like a boundary towards you with the, you don't have access to me and my life anymore because this is what you said and the truth that's behind it so it comes with consequences and um, so when we tell the truth we should tell the truth uh, and when that happens a person also are entitled to their reactions if we tell them that we are not sure on our feelings maybe they don't want to choose to be together with us anymore and it's a little bit what i'm seeing here that someone saw the truth and and as a consequence they put uh, up a distance between themselves and, and a loved one and our love is deep as the ocean and um, that's for sure we can see a lot of um, a connection card here um, the cranes here in that picture that picture and that picture shows um, these are birds that mates forever they are also here this is also a soulmate card then we have the lovers card here and the four of wands so um it's a very it shows beautiful connection and the six of blossoms uh is a, of course an ocean card but it's memories that being stored in water so memories that have been stored in uh, emotions and um uh, we can remember as emotions so therefore people will become they will start project uh, their emotions here but we need to put words to them to actually remember what we have forgotten so I hope I made sense there that uh, old traumas are stored in water and now we have a chance to bring them up to surface but then we need to talk about the issue and not bury it deep inside Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Uh, so you can't become enemies here or um, start to feel uh, really, really threatened because that can, can break the relationship apart again. Uh, so with this new beginning, I will see uh, how you will meet and who this person are potentially. So a lover, not a fighter. Yes, it's very important here that we become a lover and not a fighter. There's still problems here in, in this relationship. But if we can stay awake and aware when, when we are being triggered and what's being brought up and being able to talk about it, 
uh, we can start to uh, to also heal available for love okay expand your social life uh, playing hard to get and you will meet by chance uh, available for love yes i think both people in this equation is very available for love because they have gotten some uh, kind of um, um, like emotional boost from the divine making them uh, weaken all the defenses and expand your social life we have the tree of blossoms here uh, so if you have lived a little bit hibernating on your own, this will be a more social uh, situation in your life from now on. Uh, and um, playing hard to get. Uh, this is again a person's um, protection towards what we spoke of before. Uh, someone is telling uh, they don't love you. We put up uh, boundaries and then we might playing very hard to get even if we are not that hard to get but we don't want we want the other person to now prove their love if they uh, once kind of disproved it so it's not going to be you're not going to let your guard down easy and maybe the other person is not going to let their guard down easy as well some for some people pride will be in the way as well you will meet by chance so you don't have to um, make anything special to make this happen um, probably the divine is going to orchestrate this this meeting and i'll also take from romance angels to see what's going to happen for you in love worth waiting for and we have it in the reverse so it feels like the waiting is um, is over that um, whatever you have been waiting for is uh, coming back to your life now and uh, there will be a new start but uh, just remember that you are still uh, not healed neither of you and you will have to do great work inside a relationship um, to both of you be so both of you can be able to stay awake and aware and and work through your issues instead of blaming the other person or getting scared or spooked okay so <laughs> i hope this helped Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay really blessed. Bye bye.